The weather brought yet another cruelty to the tornado-ravaged heartland. A half foot of snow blanketed the wreckage caused by 45 tornadoes over the weekend. 39 people were killed. You may have heard about the 15-month-old girl who was found alive in a field. Well, Angel Babcock died yesterday, and today her parents and her two siblings were laid to rest in Salem, Indiana, the entire family. To bring us up to date on what's going on in the disaster area, Anna Werner is in West Liberty, Kentucky tonight. Anna? Scott, the man in charge of putting West Liberty back together again is Tim Conley. He's a county judge who is also in charge of emergency services here. His primary focus right now, getting Main Street back in business. The economy has got the road because if the economy stops, paychecks don't go out. How do you go to the grocery store and buy the food, the milk, the stuff you need? Conley rode out the tornado inside City Hall. He's slept just seven hours since. Power and phone service has to be restored and buildings inspected for safety before the cleanup can really begin. How are you dealing with all of this yourself? I'm breaking down. I'm, I'm, I'm physically healthy. I'm mentally, I'm mentally shot. I gotta pull myself together to keep the county going. He's not alone. The tornado destroyed the local bank where Patty Gibson worked for 24 years. On the second floor. That was your office up there. Mm, yeah. Gibson wasn't there at the time. She was here at her house. It wasn't any safer. The tornado hit here too. Did you think that you might not make it through that? <laughs> but I just... My faith in God, I felt, I felt like everything was going to be okay. The property's gone, of course, but God took care of us. Her house has been condemned, but when bank managers opened a makeshift office at a local library today, Gibson was there, back at work. I've been with these people for 24 years, you know, and I spend, if you think about it, I spend more time with them than I do my own family. So this is my second home. We want to give you an idea of what the destruction is like here. We have a photograph to show you of what one of the buildings here used to look like. This is the old courthouse in better days. And this is what that courthouse looks like now. Scott, officials see here say they may be able to repair some of these buildings, but many of them will never return to what they once were. Anna, thank you.